Daily Break Monday, July 19th, 2021 Monday of 16th week in ordinary time Daily Break Monday, July 19th, 2021 Monday of 16th week in ordinary time The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then some teachers of the law and some Pharisees spoke up, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. Jesus answered to them, An evil and unfaithful people want a sign, but no sign will be given them except the sign of the prophet. Jonah. In the same way that Jonah spent three days and three nights in the belly of the monster fish, so will the Son of Man spend three days and three nights in the depths of the earth. At the judgment, the people of Nineveh will rise with this generation and condemn it. Because they reformed their lives at the preaching of Jonah. And here, there is greater than Jonah. At the judgment, the queen of the south will stand up and condemn to you. She came from the ends of the earth to listen to the wisdom of Solomon. And here, there is greater than Solomon. The Gospel of the Lord. May you continue to give praise and thanks to God for all the wonderful ways in which the Lord Jesus has touched your life. Some people seem to only turn to God when they are stuck between a rock and a half place. And even then the prayer is more of a complaint or an order for God to do what they want. They asked the Lord Jesus why God has allowed rough times to come into their lives. They failed to be open to how God has still is and will continue to move the rock on the helpless and allow them to experience God's marvelous presence. They do not realize how much God loves them. When I read the book, the sick, I was reminded of God's greater concern for each and every person. Our tree in God is constantly seeking to demonstrate the divine love which the three person of the Trinity have for us. In the Gospel today, the scribes and Pharisees seek a sign that God is with Jesus and that he has authority to do what he is doing. Jesus criticizes them for their lack of faith. The only sign to be given to them is the sign of Jonah, the prophet who was dead to the world for three days, while he was in the belly of the great married creature. Jesus contrasts the faith of the Ninevites with the lack of faith of some of the religious leaders of his time. When Jonah, the restored to life prophet, preached the need for conversation, conversion, the people of Nineveh repented. Yet even when Jesus will be risen from the dead, some of the religious leaders of his time will not change their hearts, even though Jesus is greater all other prophets and events of God's self-revelation. As I reflect on the readings today, I am challenged to ask myself, why is it that I keep seeking new signs from God and I expect God to do great things for me before I fully put my trust in the Lord Jesus. Or I profess faith in God, 
but so did the Israelites and the scribes and the Pharisees. Yet, when it comes down to really tough times, I begin with God saying, If you do this or that, then I will continue to trust in you. Or I say, Lord Jesus, do what I want this time, and then I will change my life around, or I will perform some sort of sacrifice, or I will donate of some charity. Our faith should not be based on what we want God to do for us. It should be based on what God has already done for us. God has given us human life. God has given us salvation through Jesus' death and resurrection. That does not mean that we should not present to God our needs. We should, but we should not condition our further belief or trust in God upon something that we demand God to do for us. We should be in awe of what God continually does for us, not waiting for God to fulfill our every desire, which may not be according to God's will. We should look at all the ways God shows the divine presence with us each and every day, and thank God for constantly, many times each day, for those signs. The portion of question or action for today, do I ever try to begin with God before I put my full faith in God? Once I have had a prayer answered, do I always remember to thank God? Does my feelings of sorrow and or desire prevent me from experiencing the presence of the risen Lord Jesus with me? When and under what conditions have I experienced the glorious deeds of God in the last month, last week, last 24 hours? What can I do to help bolster the faith of others when they have a sense of doom and caught between a rock and a place? Let us pray. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all your goodness. Through your graciousness and goodness, you have created us and brought us safely out of the slavery of sin and through the waters to a new life in and through your Son, Jesus. Yet, many times we forget about your loving deeds in the past and only focus on our present troubles, wants, and desires. We sometimes place limits on our trust in God, waiting for you to fulfill our requests before we believe more fully. We focus so much on our heart feelings and pain that we fail to see the presence of you, your risen Lord, Jesus, and Holy Spirit, for those times when we have lack, complete us in you, we seek you to pardon and peace. Through the further inspiration of your Holy Spirit, open our eyes to see the mighty deeds which you continually do for us on a daily, even minute-to-minute -minute basis. May we always live up a hymn of praise and thanksgiving to you, especially for all you have done through Jesus. We make this pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, our brother and Savior, and the one who has brought salvation through his ministry, death and resurrection, and who is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Chúa 
trên cho con con cảm ơn công đoàn lòng chúa thương xót con cảm ơn công đoàn đã công nguyện cho con con cảm ơn chúa con tin thác nơi chúa con cảm ơn chúa con tin thác nơi chúa